y'all do be having front row access though. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Naya and welcome to welcome back to my channel. This is my 18 year old entrepreneur series and this is currently episode four. And for today's episode, I just wanted to do a different type of video. I wanted to show y'all, be showing y'all how to create or design your own graphic tee. I didn't want to get repetitive with the vlogs, like, you know, the weekly vlogs. It's really like the same thing every week. Like I get at least one order a week, which I'm very grateful for. So this week I have four orders and I need to make some things right now. Currently 12 10 a.m. Friday to 24. Two major things you're probably gonna need is like a printer, a heat press. If you don't have a heat press, you could honestly use an iron. If you're trying to like really, you know, make shirts or create a brand, I would definitely recommend getting a heat press. Yeah, you need shirts. These are all mostly blank and you need prints, but on transfer paper. I will leave all the links down below, like for stuff that I use. The thing about like transfer paper is that you waste so much. Like you guys see all that transfer paper on the other side I can use, but like, I don't know. I still save it because I feel like there's some way I can use it. Low key, might try to put it in my crit cut or something like that. I don't know. Just cut like the excess off. Thing this design as an example because I do have two t-shirts. I'm looking at my whiteboard. I have a whiteboard right here with like all my orders on it and then like my inventory and like you know what I have fulfilled and what I don't. So sorry I keep talking but like yeah I wanted to do this video because like all the videos I watched they were like so boring like not boring but like they just like tried to drag on the video like on and on like I don't want this video to be that like I'm probably gonna have to put like something at the end of this video because it's gonna be short because I want it to be short simple to the point. First thing you need is obviously like your platform like your shirt or your pants or whatever i'm gonna be using shirts so i have my shirts obviously these are all my shirts then you want to turn on your heat press so while my heat press is heating up i'm gonna go ahead and cut these designs out i do have a design like this where it's like the whole box but for the words with letters like if you want to just cut out the letters part I definitely recommend just like you know taking your time i am gonna order an exacto knife soon because i feel like that would just make this whole process so much easier Okay, you guys, so I have all of those cut out, and here is the shirt. It's just a blank. Y'all do be having front row access, though. It's not done heating up yet, so we go. Guys, it's done heating up. So basically, what you do is first off, you want to move this to the side. And then you want to take your shirt. Here's my shirt just for reference. This is an extra large. And what I do, well not what you do, but like what you're supposed to do. If you're using a heat press, once you make sure it's centered, press it down first to just like iron it. It's smooth. This one, you don't have to click anything. Just hold it for a second. Once it's all pressed out, you wanna make sure it's even. You take your, your design, this is my up close. Okay, so for all my logos, I like all of my logos to be on the left side. So as you guys can see, my logo is right here. The way I measure is like, okay, so you guys see like, this is the underarm, right? This is your underarm right here. So like, you just wanna look at yourself and be like, okay, my underarm's here. So like, where would I put it, you know? And then when you think about other brands, you know, they have like their underarm and then they have like, it kind of like up and like over but still close so that's what i kind of think and then like once i have it in a place i think it's good i kind of just look at it like as a whole just to make sure what i do is i just take this thing the sticky notes and i like place it in place as like reference and then i take usually i can use my fingers but since i wear acrylics i have to take tweezers and like I have to peel the transfer paper off. Try to do this as neat as possible because you can scratch up the design. 
you, ooh, that focus hit different. Do y'all see that? And then once you get it, you just want to peel it off like that. Put it back in place. Parchment paper. Since parchment paper is usually really thin, what I do is I fold it just so I can get a better like print. Honestly, it makes it look so much cleaner. So yeah, you just fold it, you sit it on there. You bring this boy around town and then you press. And as you guys can see, numbers are moving down and I click this down button to start it. I just let it cool. I usually let it cool for like two or three minutes, honestly, because I don't want anything to go wrong because, you know, we don't got money to be wasting products. Time to peel. I'm gonna just start off slow and look. And boom. Look at this, y'all. Look at how just, oh. Look at how just, oh, wow. Okay, usually I still let it sit like out and open like this for a minute before I like fold it and put it in a package. Only because like, you know, you don't want it to like start bending or anything and I had that happen before. So yeah, you guys, that is how you make a graphic tee for yourself. That is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoy. I hope you gain something from this. I'm about to finish all my orders. Go follow me on Instagram at night and day. Go follow my brand, SO the brand. Also go follow an upcoming brand called Shop and Daye on Instagram. Help me hit 100K. I'm about to just start saying that at the end of every video. I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye. Slide on a nigga with the phone phone. Yeah, the phone phone. Slide on the phone phone. My bitch go loco. Loco. Maria. 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 Slide on a nigga with the phone phone. Yeah, the phone phone. Slide on the phone phone. Slide on a nigga with the phone phone, yeah, the phone phone, slide on the phone phone, my bitch go loco, loco, Maria, Maria, slide on a nigga with the phone phone, yeah, the phone phone, slide on the phone phone, my bitch go loco, loco, Maria
slide on a nigga with the fofo. Yeah.